Greetings and welcome everyone to Dyad, or Diad, or Diaz, or Common Diaz? What is she doing here? I'm not sure, but anyway, welcome to this game, and it is just like fucking what in the best possible way? It is like insanity mixed with awesomeness and then you, you know you just stare around for a little bit and you got a nice pile of diad or dyad or diaz uh it's just it's just like w there are no words to describe this game so i'm going to do something stupid and try and describe them describe this game using words now basically it's a racing game but on crack Actually, yeah, it wasn't that difficult to describe at all. I mean, yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, now, before we get into the actual game, I just want to show the configuration settings. It's, um, you know, it's a fairly straightforward stuff, except there's no options at all to change your keyboard binding, so you're stuck to using Z, X, and C, and the arrow keys for movement and shooting and action bits and pieces, and that annoys me. There is also no mouse support at all. Why can't I use my mouse? Let me use the mouse wheel, the mouse scroll wheel thing to, you know, go in the menus. Look, why can't I? I can't scroll. I cannot scroll. It's impossible. I have to use the fucking arrow keys and it's annoying. I hate that. I hate the goddamn arrow keys so much. But anyway, enough of me hating on the arrow keys. It's time for me to show you KKK, KKKK, KKK, KK, KK. Which is a great level name, which is, you know, fantastic. I mean, it's pretty much Shakespearean right now. Um, the goal of this game is to basically just race and go trippy as fuck. It is brilliant. Now, there are three types of levels you can unlock. You can unlock the basic game mode, which is, you know, a simple objective. You beat it, and then you can advance to the next level. Then you beat the next level, and so you can beat the next one, and so on and so forth. Basic stuff like that. There are 26 levels in total, by the way. And, oh, but the wrong one. Yeah, and then there's also the remix mode, which allows you to basically just change how it works. Should you put infinite play on? Should you have unlimited energy? Should you make it inverted? Should you do that? It's just like tons of options. And trophy mode is what you unlock when you get three stars in the game. You will unlock trophy mode, which allows you to get a new special objective in the game, which is more difficult than the normal objective. And then after beating trophy mode, you will unlock... A Steam achievement. It's called trophy mode and not achievement mode because this game was originally on the PlayStation Network and PS3 uses trophies instead of, you know, that achievements and such. So that's why that's there. And there's also global leaderboards so you can see where you place. Where am I? Number six? Guys, step your game up. How the fuck did Bipping Bap get to two minutes and 42 seconds? That is amazing. That's cool. Wait, did he just. Is this game really using page down and page up? Wow, that is weird. It's fucking 1990 all over again. <laughs> but anyway, um, see, this is why I would like to rebind my keys. Why can't I use my mouse? Why can't I use any little buttons on there? It's ridiculous. But anyway, let's get this game started. So you can see on the right hand side, it'll tell you your goals and you know what to reach to beat the level. So. In order to win the game, we need a well. In order to get three stars, we need to get to the end of the game or end of the race in three minutes or less. To get two stars, three minutes, thirty seconds. To get one star, which is just the minimum passing grade. That's four minutes and thirty seconds we need. So let's get started. All right. So here is basically the entire controls of the game. You're gonna you want to highlight something. Then when it's highlighted, press X. And that will zip you closer to it. And then you want to make sure you get a pair. So we just hit orange. And then we want to find another orange. Where's another orange real quick? And then that will give us a little zip line. And it will also allow us to go faster. The zip line is used to increase your speed. And also when you find a pair, you'll get a nice, be nice little boost to speed. Which is always good. So this game is all about going fast and tripping out, man. Look at it go. See, there we go. Also, uh, actually, no. In order to get the zip line... There needs to be one in front and one behind, so they need to be they need to be in front of each other. You can't have them placed. Um, oh fuck! I'm gonna fail this already. Wow. Oh no! I succeeded. <laughs> My bad. Um, I thought I was failing. Um, but yes. Okay. So here is the checkpoint type of thing, and this will tell you how fast you need to go, and in order to get a certain amount of time, basically, you know, we're doing all right, I believe. Not that bad. Not that horrible. But it definitely could be better. So this is your new enemy, the Triad. If you avoid them at the last second in order to get a little zipline that they'll leave behind. And what's great about this is that they have a 
their enemies as well as being useful. Like, basically the entire game is you avoiding enemies, but you have to engage in the enemies because they give you boosts of speed for you to to go forward. So it's this nice like, oh, I have to, I have to engage this enemy, but I really don't want to because they could blow me up, make me go slow, and make me just lose the flow. Like, look at that. Now I'm going a lot slower than I was originally, and now I've lost all the flow, it's not going, it's not smooth at all now. So, see, that's why you want to avoid enemies, but you also got to engage in them so you can go faster. It's So, it's really cool. Alright, next sector. Basically, by the way, sectors are pretty much just laps. You want to beat the lap in the, in the shortest time possible, and you want to make sure that you're always doing it as quickly as possible, which requires you to engage in enemies and stuff like that, so... Let's just continue doing this, and now also there is something called Lancing, which when you press Z, you go into this sort of like turbo drive mode or whatever, and it is like, whoa, that kind of crazy whacked up stuff, man. Now in order to fill up Lance Energy, you want to press X on the little dot, and then you want to graze it, so you just want to go next to it, just right next to it, there you go, see, there was a little outline next to it, that shows you where you need to land, so you're going to just graze next to it, and that will give your lance energy a little bit more into it. So, like, fill up your lance energy bar meter a little bit. You just want to do that until your lance energy is full, and then there you go. Now, you're, when you lance, you want to make sure you're already going incredibly fast, because if you're going fast while you're lancing, it will last longer, which will make you go further, and so on and so forth. And you also want to make sure you hit as many enemies as possible while lancing, because that will also increase your time total so you want to make sure that you are hitting all these enemies you want to make sure that you're you're going really fast when you activate it basically you just want to be going fast and hit everything while lancing it's really cool oh there we go there we go yes <laughs> this game is just so fucking zany insane it's just oh it's brilliant oh it's fucking brutal i love this game it is amazing you can purchase this game right now on gog.com you can purchase it on Steam, you can also purchase it on the PlayStation Network, and it's all $15, I believe. I actually, no, I think GOG.com and Steam are currently having a 20% off sale, so I think that's what, like 30 bucks? No, 30 bucks, no, 13 bucks, I think it is. I can't math right now, I can't math right now. I'm busy getting insane. Am I going to lose? I did, yeah, okay, good. That's actually good, because um, I want to show you the rest of it because otherwise I would have been there forever. Now let's go to remix mode, which is basically I'm going to show you this off for of maybe two sectors. I'm going to play this for two sectors, and then we're going to go back to um, trophy. We're going to show off trophy mode, it's a uh, different level in um, one of the earlier stages because I haven't unlocked three stars in this. So let's just um, turn everything on. There we go. So we've got drums on, collision on, washed out on, inverted on. Relative di relativistic distortion. I don't even know what that means. Big words is too too giant for my game of my little brain. Um, unlimited energy triggers equal music. So I assume that means when we trigger something, it'll equal music. Stuff like that. Infinite play, which means we you know play for infinite infinity and so on and so forth. Basically, pretty straightforward. And now this game gets insane. I'm gonna be quiet for just a little bit, and then I'll let you just listen to it. So it's pretty insane, it sounds so goofy and you can just, like this game, it's like fucking what? That's just like my whole reaction to this game, it's like what is going on? Like the more I play it, the more I'm like what the hell is this? This makes no sense at all, why does this game exist? I'm not saying it shouldn't, I'm fucking glad it does because it is brilliant, but why does it exist? It, this. This shouldn't exist, but I am so fucking glad it does. This is just brilliant. This is like fucking... This is all the positives of being on drugs with none of the negatives. So thank you, Sean McGrath, the developer of this game, for creating a drug simulator racing game. It's... It's going... It's driving while under the influence of drugs, except without any of the negative repercussions of that. So thank you. You've saved millions of lives. Sean McGrath, you are our hero. Modern day Superman. I just... I love it. Actually, I shouldn't just say Sean McGrath. I believe there are also other people who worked on this game, so I... 
and being really rude by just saying it's Sean McGrath. This actually, I believe there's actually a credit. Yeah, okay, so Sean McGrath, David Kanaga, Peko Kosh. Why do you guys have such difficult to pronounce names? What the hell? Derek Tong, Jason DeGroote, and Matthew Kuma. Okay, you guys are cool, and also there's also the other guys down. Didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit exit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I accidentally I hit X, not realize not realizing that I was on exit. So apologies, but um, <laughs> fucking the moron I am. Okay, so let's do tune in, which I've gotten done. So we've got a trophy objective, which means we have to hook 22 pairs of enemies while pressing the hook button a maximum of 50 times. Okay, so that's our little goal. So we can only press the button to hook 50 times, and then. We also have to actually hook onto them. So there we go. We've just hooked that. There we go. Simple as that. So now, uh, so oh, whoops, didn't do anything. My bad. So you can't just spam the bun here. You can't just go around and around and around in circles and just spamming the bun. You have to actually be precise. And then, after finishing this level, we will unlock a Steam achievement. And I'm actually not sure what will happen if you do it on GeoJet.com. I think you'll just give you the satisfaction of knowing that you beat it. There's no achievements. Like, what is the point then? No point. Gotta get those Steam achievement, man. That's the only reason I even exist anymore. Why else would I play games? But, yeah, but really, uh, yeah, it's just, they give you a nice little challenge. It makes it, you know, it, it adds a bit of flavor to it. There are three game modes. There are global leaderboards. This game has quite a bit of content in it. So, if you want to just play a game that is insane with a bit of content, you can purchase this game right now on GOG.com, Steam, uh, PSN all for $15 or slightly less on Steam or whatever. I didn't do it. Fuck. Failed. Uh, I'm so sorry. I failed you all. But yes, anyway, um, let's just continue. So there we go. That has been... Couldn't even do it on the first fucking level. Ridiculous. I'm shit. Um, so yes, this actually goes to show that even if you're rubbish, if you're somehow worse than me, you can still get enjoyment from this zany-ass game. So... Yes, I highly recommend you pick up this game. It is insane. Although, if the developer is watching this, first of all, why can't I rebind my keys? That is annoying. I don't want to use Z, X, and C. I want to put it somewhere over in the middle. And I don't want to use arrow keys. Can I use Wacid? And then maybe the numpad. I would actually like that. That, that would be my preferred setup. Wacid plus 4, 5, and 8. Or 4, 5, and 6, sorry, on the numpad. That would be my preferred setup. That would be really nice for me. I, I would like that, but I can't. Can't do it. At least not in game. Maybe there's like a .ini file somewhere else hidden in the Steam folder, but I can't find it. Mostly because I haven't looked for it. But in game, I can't seem to find any option to to configure my control scheme. And there's also no mouse support, which is annoying. So that's not a big not a big fan of that at all. Really don't like that. I would like mouse support. This is a game on PC. It should have some basic PC features like. Mouse support. I use my mouse to click on things. Let me click on your things, please, guy, please. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, so that's basically my huge problems. Well, not really huge, but those are my problems with Dyad, and those are also my reasons as to why I like Dyad. So thank you for sticking around, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my first impressions on Dyad, Dyad, Cameron Diaz. So, GG.